Is it worth it for someone experiencing keto rush to be on a ketogenic diet? Do I say butt crack? I'm going to share two pictures of my inner thighs, but don't worry. I'll make sure you cannot tell it's a picture of my inner thighs, okay? Hello, my Choo Choo family. I'm your fun-loving epic vlogger, Tom Choo Choo. It has been a year ever since I encountered this horrific event of my life. You might think the horrific event is becoming a YouTuber, but <laughs> it's actually for being having this keto rash. I cannot believe I'm actually vlogging about this, but it seems like a trending topic on my channel, so why not I share some updates about my keto rash. Before I share with you some of my irresistible keto rash pictures, please like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. My channel is all about keto and everything mukbang. Anyway, on with the story. Choo choo! If you have never seen my keto rush progression, I put the link up there so you can check it out how it got so horrific that I had to quit keto. But after this video, of course. Well, what is keto rush anyways? It is an inflammatory condition of itchy redness rash around the trunk and neck area, but not necessarily trunk and neck area to be honest with you. It's commonly growing there, but I can assure you it can grow from your neck to your arms to your hands to your chest to your trunk to your inner thighs and butt crack area. Did I say butt crack? Yes. You bet your butt crack that it can grow there too. And don't argue with me that if it's not growing around the neck and trunk area, it's not keto rash. <laughs> Trust me, it's keto rash all right. Because I have never ever grown something even close to a rash like this before. So unless you have grown some keto rash on your body, please don't tell me how I should explain my problem and struggles, okay? So what causes the keto rash? Well, according to the researchers and how they did not really have enough data about this, they're still not entirely sure what causes keto rash, but there's a strong correlation between the rash and the presence of ketosis. In another word, that keto rash occurs when you are in ketosis. In a way, I don't need any urine strips or blood tests to know that I'm in ketosis. <laughs> hey, save a few bucks for sure. But the annoying part is that keto rash is itchy as hell if you ever had gotten any. Oh well, if you have eczema, you know what I'm talking about. So after a year, what's going on with my rashes now? Well, I'm going to share some of my pictures about my previous rash on my hands. Trust me, they are keto rashes because later on the rash spread onto my neck and trunk areas. And that's when I stopped keto for a month to calm the rash down. Have I mentioned about the rash grow around my butt crack and inner thighs? If you remember back in the last year around August when I did another video regarding about rashes coming back, I told you that the rash was growing but somehow quickly faded away. Well, to be honest with you, it has been somehow lingering a little bit longer. And still to this day, I still have the rash growing around my inner thigh. Here's the fun part. I'm going to share two pictures of my inner thighs, but don't worry. I'll make sure you cannot tell it's a picture of my inner thighs, okay? Here are my two pictures. One is when my skin is dry and I did not apply any lotion. And one is when I apply lotion, but you can still see the redness around the spot. You might be wondering, are you sure this is keto rash? Good question. Yes, I often wonder that too. So luckily I have my ketone blood test from Keto Mojo to just to make sure I'm in ketosis. And on the days that I felt the most itchy, I would go do a quick test and to see if I'm in ketosis. And I kid you not, the itchiest date will also be the day I have the highest ketone in my blood. So there you have it. So... Is it worth it for someone experiencing keto rush to be on a ketogenic diet? Well, this is a hard one because I don't know. I think you have to ask it yourself why you want to be on a keto diet in the first place. Keto has its great benefit, but if you just want to lose weight, I personally think low carb diet or intermittent fasting that might get you a quicker result. 
I started keto and made it into a lifestyle because I got a whole YouTube channel building around this topic. <coughs> I'm kidding. It's because the benefit that came with the ketogenic diet is what I love about it. It's extreme, it's challenging, but that's why I want it. And to be honest with you, being on keto for almost a year and a half now, I'm not as strict as how I first started because my keto rush condition. So if I eat a little bit more carb, that's okay because look at the brighter side. My rush is not as itchy, right? So find out why you want to be on keto. And of course, keto diet is a quick way to shed some pounds if you're going to a photo shoot. But you have to make that choice yourself. You have to be the one to say whether this is a temporary or a lifelong journey. I can only share with you my own experience that I used to be 250 pounds and I went on a low fat diet for a long time and I felt like crap. And I really enjoyed doing ketogenic diet because it restricted me from consuming too much carbs. I used to be a sucker for bread, rice, noodles, and dumplings. And sure, there's rashes here and there, but at this point, it's pretty tolerable. And I don't feel fatigue after a meal. And that's one of the great benefits on ketogenic diet. And sure, any diet comes with the weight loss bonus, but to tell you the truth, I haven't lost any weight since being on keto for this long. If I have lost some, I've gained it all back. I know I destroyed my body pretty bad prior to this diet, so I think having this keto diet is definitely trying to fix itself little by little. It might not fix a day or two, a year or two, but getting used to this low carb life is pretty awesome. <laughs> I know. This was meant to report my update on my keto rash. But I think this keto rash is pretty much under control. And I definitely share with you another great news when it's all gone. Hopefully. On that note, please like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my next keto update. And for those of you up there who might suffer from keto rash, please leave comment down below if you know any remedy that can cure this. I'd love to hear from you. Anyway, see you next time. Bye.